Hey folks, e Chip here out at Contentment today, and it's a windy day, but it's a beautiful day, and we're out here digging in the dirt. The reason is because we want to test the soil and uh, see if it's suitable to make adobe brick uh, for the home we want to build here. Now we're in an area where we think we want to actually build the house, and as you can see, it's sort of up on a hill. So what we want to do is clear out a level pad, sort of cutting into the hill a little bit, and kill two birds with one stone by, if we can, using the soil that we excavate from this area for the house pad to actually build our adobe brick for the home. So uh, we've begun to dig a test hole here uh, and uh, we're gonna look at the soil horizons uh, to test the soil and see if it's suitable for adobe. So come along with me, I'll show you what we've done. <laughs> Okay, so those of you who've had any exposure to physical science may have heard about, or farming, may have heard about the soil horizons. Um, there are three soil horizons that we want to worry about. They are A, B, and C. A horizon is this real loose topsoil stuff that usually just occupies the first few inches of the soil. Then as you go down, we're looking at what we call B horizon, which is a little more compact and uh, which has plant roots in it as you can see, the plant roots here. As you go further down, the plant roots begin to disappear, become you know fewer and further between, and you get into real soil here. And this is what we call sea horizon. And sea horizon is what we're concerned about when we're looking at building adobe brick. Uh, because sea horizon is the soil that's most likely to give you what you're looking for uh, with brick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some samples from sea horizon. We're actually gonna take a couple of five gallon buckets back home to the shop. We're going to do some pH testing on them. We're also going to do some on-site sampling to see what the clay content is on these. And uh, then we're going to build a couple sample bricks and test them and see if they hold up. So that's why we're out here today, playing in the dirt in the beautiful, beautiful Intermountain West on a beautifully sunny day that's really windy. Thank you, Robber. Adobe brick is somewhere between 20 and 30 percent. If you get 
too much clay, the brick will crack as it dries, just like uh -huh. you see on a dry lake bed uh -huh. um, or any clay soil. And if, it, if you don't have enough clay, it won't hold the brick together. It just becomes a sand block, basically, and falls apart. So you need the clay in there as a binder, but you can't have too much and you can't have too little. So how long will it take to settle all the way out? I mean, uh, that's no. already settling. Starting to. You can see you've got the, the thick material here. So it's got rocks in it. And you can see some of the silt. You can see some of the clay beginning to settle out. That's so cool. It is already settling out. Yeah. Hey folks, E. Chip and Rob are back here in the shop. We brought back that dirt as promised. And uh, in part two of our series on making adobe brick for contentment, we're going to test some of this soil. We're going to analyze it. We're going to make some sample brick. And uh, so please stay tuned for that next episode because I promise you it'll be more fun than you think. Uh, stay tuned for future videos having to do with adobe because we visited some uh, historic sites that are made of adobe and uh, talk a lot about them. It's very interesting. I think you would get a lot out of them and enjoy them. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, and uh, click the little notification bell on YouTube so that you can receive notice of future videos coming up. Please also uh, catch us on Facebook and Instagram. Until um, we meet again, thanks again for watching. Stay happy.